Hello! I'll be showing you my go-to skincare and one body care product today. I left out my regular skincare routine products because that's gonna be for another video later on. Let's jump right in. The first product is an eye cream. What a surprise, right? Yes. I like my eye creams and this is the Origins Starting Over Age Erasing Eye Cream with Mimosa. I think you guys have seen this either on my Instagram or one of my other videos because I really love this eye cream. It's almost empty as you guys can see. I love it for the winter time. It really moisturizes my under eye area. I get such dry skin in the winter time. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, you probably know that I was talking about how I started a new skincare routine and I was not completely happy with the Origins products but this one is one that I love and yeah, I'll be talking about the other ones in my other videos but just know that this guy is awesome. The next product is something for the pimples and around that time of the month, I get pimples usually around my forehead area so I turn in this guy over here. This is the Melin and Gets acne treatment. If you guys are familiar with the Mario Badescu drying lotion, this is pretty much the same product. Uh, there's a layer of sulfur at the bottom and then alcohol on top. You dip a q-tip in and dab onto your blemishes, your uh, pimples, and let it dry. I usually just put it on right before I go to bed and let it sit for, you know, however many hours I sleep, seven to eight. In the morning, wash it off and my pimples a lot smaller, it's less red and it's less painful. So it just helps with uh, the healing process. It speeds it up a lot more. So, oh, my rice is ready. Ooh. The next product is a hand cream and this is the L'Occitane hand cream. My favorite hand cream, hands down, cause it's just amazing. It absorbs really well into my skin. It's not greasy, it smells really good and it's moisturizing. So everything that I can ask for in a hand cream, L'Occitane does it best. Next product some of you have probably heard me talk about because I bought this at the Sephora sale and uh, yeah, I've been ranting about this one nonstop. Ooh, the chicken is sizzling in the oven. I'm having chicken and rice tonight. That's why the rice cooker was singing and there's chicken sizzling in the background, but let's finish this up first. Uh, we're talking about deodorant. This is the Le Vanilla 100% Natural, no aluminum, uh, healthy deodorant and I got this at Sephora like I said during their VIB sale and I got it in the scent Vanilla Lavender. I love this because it doesn't make my armpits itch. I usually get allergic reactions from the drugstore deodorant. I also tried it in the Pure Vanilla scent and that one smells like baby powder which I don't mind but if you are not a big fan of baby powder then try out the different scents because that one has a really strong baby powder scent and uh, people do notice it because I went to work and then my students were like, why do you smell like baby powder? Do you have a baby? Like, no, no, I don't smell like baby powder. And they're like, yeah, you do, you smell like baby powder. And it's really strong actually, I can smell it on me sometimes. Um, it's enough to keep me smelling fresh in the winter time. I know that in the summer, this might not be enough just because it's not an antiperspirant. It doesn't have aluminum, so it's not gonna clog your pores and stops you from sweating. You will still sweat with this. Uh, it's just that it's gonna keep you smelling fresh. The last product I'm gonna show you is my Clarisonic. I don't think I've talked about my Clarisonic in any of my videos, which is so weird, because I've had this guy for over a year now, and yes, I've been loving it. It's my go-to. Uh, cleansing machine brush. I use it for deep cleansing. It really does a great job at getting the gunk and the makeup out of my pores. So I like to use this on days when I'm using makeup, but I try not to use it on days that I'm not using makeup so that I'm not like irritating my skin. I know that some people can use it every day, but because I have such dry skin, I kind of have a bit of a sensitive skin type as well. So I tend to space it out. It came with a normal brush head, but I switched it out and I put in a delicate brush head because the normal one is pretty harsh for the face, I feel. The normal one I just kind of kept for exfoliating my body. So sometimes I'll bring this into a shower with me and pop on the normal brush head and then start exfoliating my arms, the back of my legs, and things like that. So then I don't waste the normal brush head because I know I'm not gonna use it on my face. So that's it for my go-to skincare plus one body care video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't
Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and tell me one of your go-to skincare products because I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you very soon in my next video. Bye guys!